say, hey, we all know how important it is to get to the impact position with the club shaft leaning forward. We know that's going to give us more compression of the ball. We know that's going to tend to give us ball first contact and divot afterwards contact so we catch it clean every time. Um, these are some of the fundamental things that we must have if we're ever going to be a really good iron player. So there's probably thousands of videos on this topic on YouTube. It's phenomenal uh, by hundreds of instructors that talk about leaning the club forward, getting shaft lean, compressing the ball, um, not hitting the ball fat, hitting the ball first and the divot second. Maybe you haven't responded to those yet. So I'd like to present to you in this video a completely new concept that I think is going to give you all three of these things. And it, you're not going to even have to work at it that hard. I bet I can get you to do that at least on a practice swing within just a few swings. So if you're interested and you want to hit your irons better, more crisp, more distance, more compression, all those good things that YouTube instructors talk about, then by all means keep watching. Hey, this is T from HitItLonger.com. I'm on a journey to hit it, not just longer off the tee, but really straight too, because hitting the ball long and straight and dominating golf courses like that is just a hell of a lot of fun. So hey, if you're with me, you're on a similar journey, I hope you'll uh, subscribe, hit the bell notifications, like this video at the end, but only if you liked it, and <laughs> leave a comment down below if you have any questions. So what I'm gonna show you is gonna seem kind of revolutionary, and uh, some of you out there are gonna click off and never come back to the channel again because you just think I'm too weird with my approach to things. And um, But some of you, you're gonna stick with it, and you're gonna give it a shot, and it's gonna have a profound effect on your golf game, uh, I predict. So. Let's talk about a different concept that will automatically create forward lean, uh, compression, ball first contact, better co contact, uh, longer distance, uh, more greens and regulation, all that stuff. All right, so I swapped my five iron for this contraption called the speed whoosh. I use this for a lot of my videos. If you're new to my channel, you can just check out check out some of the other videos I've done with this. It's a really handy tool. It's lightweight and kind of whippy and uh, it swings a lot faster because it's so light. But what the greatest feature of it is is this this white ball at the end. Since it's traveling so fast, uh, it, it makes a really nice whooshing sound. Um, all we've got to do to get everything that we talked about in the intro is focus on where we're going to make this thing swoosh. And I want to introduce a comment that's going to seem so crazy to you. Um, up until now, you maybe had the idea or the inclination that you're supposed to hit down. Hit down to make the ball go up. Hit down on the ball. Hit down into the turf. Um, I think that should feel completely the opposite. That's not what I feel at all. And you know, slow-mo any time will confirm that I am leaning the club shaft forward, I'm getting the maximum amount of compression, and I'm knocking the crap out of the golf ball with all my irons. But yet, I don't ever feel like I'm hitting down. I feel like I'm hitting up instead. So let me explain before, you know, give me a 30 seconds before you switch it off to back to your comfortable golf instruction channel again. Let me explain that to you. Um, if I were to have the intention on making this swoosh, let's say, pretend there's a softball pitch coming down in front of home plate, and I want to contact it out here, which means not only am I forward way out ahead of the ball with the swoosh of this, well, I'll demonstrate in a minute, but also, our, watch from this angle, you'll see that I'm not only out in front, but moving around to the left as well. So notice that I'm left of where I struck the ball. And also, we're also going to be making this club, as you're swooshing to a particular spot, you're going to make the club move upward. So it would look something like this. 
So notice I swung from low to high there. I have no attempt, making no attempt to hit down on this, but instead hit up. So I'm trying to hit on an upwards inclination. So if I'm picturing a big hula hoop here that goes through the golf ball, the hula hoop would track. Imagine a hula hoop kind of at an incline going right through the base of my neck here the hula hoop rim would look something like this back around to the left forward and upwards like that so i'm concentrating on whipping the club upwards let me try one more swing here from the down the line angle And we'll do one from the face on, and then I'm gonna slow it down. And in the slowdown, you are going to see the absolute proof that I am holding lag for long enough. I am leaning the shaft way, way forward at impact with this exercise. And I would have ball first, turf second, contact every single time automatically. But I'm looking up, I'm gonna to try to swish this thing upward so here comes a good strong swing a lot of this right hand look like this and a lot of forward lean on that club shaft like this and striking the ball first and turf second even though my intention is to swing up up and out out into space as far as I can reach around to the left with the exit of my swing. This does not by any means mean that I am attempting to hold the lag here. You see, I am throwing it from back there. Now, you would say, well, how is it? That's a cast. You're gonna do everything the opposite of what you talked about, Steve. You're a liar. This would lead to turf first contact, backwards lean on the club, fat shots, no power, no compression, because I'm not just swinging and releasing the club, uh, club head and trying to swoosh it back here. That's not my intention. My intention is to put the swoosh way out here. And the magic that happens there quite uh, automatically, as I've seen with tons of my students, I had two of them just yesterday who went from hitting the ball three inches fat to three inches in front within about an hour or so in the course of one lesson they started experiencing the forward divot and the forward lean of the club shaft simply by doing this exercise of intending on swooshing now what's the difference the difference is how much i'm turning the chest in order to make the swoosh go out there you see in this casting version so we show me someone who casts and I'll show you someone who hangs back on their back foot with dead legs and doesn't turn their chest at all. And I'll show you someone who has no forward lean, no forward lean, no compression of the ball or less compression and hits the ball fat and tops it a lot. So all those issues can be solved with this one simple exercise. Picture the softball or the baseball just dropping to the ground out in front of there and whacking it into the upper deck and down the left field line and you'll see that your body will respond to what your intention is on the swoosh and it will start doing what it's supposed to do what good golfers do is lead with the sequence of weight shift and hip and shoulder turn and then the swoosh gets out in front that i'm still 
applying uncocking torque way back here but at the same time you're seeing the club getting slung this way because of the turn of my chest simultaneously so now let's go back to the five iron again and let's try to make the same intention on a swing here which would be out there um, upwards out in front and around to the left That's the intention i'm trying to swoosh the club way out there now on at impact and we'll see this in slow motion on a five iron i only need oh about two maybe two and a half inches of forward lean to give me five iron loft if i needed to hit a specialty shot and punch it under the wind or maybe under a tree branch i might go for three or four inches of forward lean effectively de-lofting it to a four iron and technically that would give me more smash probably uh, because i'm de-lofting the club and hitting it more like it's a four iron that is of course if my angle of attack stays the same and then i would be true truly more compression so i'm just going to give you a normal swing where again my intention is I'm going to swoosh out there. So here we go. We'll break it down in slow mo. Swooshing out in front, around to the left, and upwards, an uppercut. Not hitting down, not my intention, not my image, but to hit up. Now my average angle of attack on my five iron is downwards about two, sometimes two and a half degrees. That's a little on the shallow side, but that's where I like it with this kind of swing. Um, the guys on tour, they'll be somewhere in the neighborhood of two and a half to three degrees downwards um, strike on their five iron. And it will increase as the ball position moves back and they get into their shorter irons up to four and five and then even six degrees on the wedges because the wedges are um, designed to hit more down on the ball than the five iron is however the idea stays the same with every club in the bag the feeling of hitting up out around to the left and forward always stays the same so ditch that idea that you're going to hit down on it that only promotes dead legs no chest turn it doesn't have you looking and turning past the ball and so when that stops your low point backs up behind the ball and you lose all of your angle too early and you get the fat scoopy topped balls say so, hey thanks for watching i'm steve um, Watch out for the next video coming up in just a couple more days. I do these three times a week. I hope you'll join me again. And uh, thanks to Golf Development Complex for hosting us today. And hey, I hope to see you in the next video. But if not, I know I'll see you longer and straighter down the fairway. Take care.